Welcome to netfit.tv level one series. My name is Carl, I'll be leading today's workout. I'm here to motivate and dedicate you to live a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. Today we're going to be doing a full body strength training workout with a chair. Now today we have 30 seconds on each exercise, so I want you to do as many reps as you can in those 30 seconds. Let's say if you can only do six reps until momentary muscle fatigue where you can't do another rep. And I just want you to re relax, recover, and wait for the next exercise. And remember, reach your personal best. As you get stronger, you'll be able to do more reps in 30 seconds. And then when you can complete 30 seconds on each exercise, it's time to start a new program with netfit.tv. So let's get started. I need you to grab your chair. Let's place it out to the side. We can get started with the right leg. We're going to go into a lunge. I want you to bring your right leg forward, left leg back. You're going to press on all four corners of your right foot. Keep your chest up, place your left hand on the chair, and you're gonna drop your left knee straight down as far as you can, and then press up. Put about 80% on the pressure on the right leg. Are y'all ready? Let's go. All the way down, all the way up. So keep your chest up, and notice how from my shoulder to hip, I'm going straight down, and then straight up, with my front knee not passing my foot. That's good form. That's what I want you to look like at home. Keeping your eyes up, big smile. We have about 15 seconds left. You can do it. Just start feeling the burn in the right leg and a stretch in the front of your left thigh. All the way down and hold it. I want you to pulse it down for five, four, three, two, and perfect. Let's switch legs. Now we do the same thing with the left leg. So let's bring the left leg forward, place the chair on the right side so you can hold on to it if you need. Chest up from your shoulders to your hips, straight down, straight up. Ready? Let's go down and up. So inhale down. Exhale up. Let's say if you feel like you got it, you don't need a chair. And place your other hand on your hip, and then that will work the legs even more because you're not holding on. So make sure you're breathing, do not hold your breath. You can inhale down, exhale up. We have about 12 seconds left. Putting all the pressure on your front leg. Come on, you can do it. Yes, it's burning, it's supposed to burn. Come on, we got three, last two. One more, all the way down and hold it. Let's pulse it, five. Four, three, two, and perfect. Now straighten out your legs. That gets the legs burning. That gets your RPE up to around six or seven. That's a good thing. Anytime you use your legs, it's gonna get your heart rate up. Why? Because there's more muscles involved. Next, let's go into a push-up. So you're gonna place your chair in front of you, place your hands inside the chair, and press down. If you press forward, the chair is gonna slide. So I'm gonna place my mat underneath the chair so it doesn't slide. On your toes, pull your stomach in. I want your back flat, and then you bend your arms as much as you can, and then straighten them out. You ready? Let's go. All the way down. Push it up. So you can inhale down, exhale, push it up. Now let's say if your back's hurting, then I want you to bring your feet closer to the chair. Then it'll make it easier. Okay, so make sure you hit momentary muscle fatigue where you feel like you can't do another rep. We have 10 seconds left. You there, you can't do another rep, take a seat or stand up, get a sip of water and wait until the next exercise because reverse flies are up in two and one. Perfect job. You should really feel that pull your chest. Next, you need dumbbells or resistance band. I'm gonna get a set of dumbbells. And what you're going to do, take a seat. I want your chest up, chest up, hips back. I want you to bring your hands right below your legs, and you're gonna fly straight out, pinching your shoulder blades together, and then release. Keep your chest up, ready? Let's go. Out, pinch your shoulder blades, and release. So you're gonna exhale up, inhale down. There we go. Are you hitting momentary muscle fatigue? You should be every set. And you feel like you can't do any more, and that's good. Let's say if you can only do five reps, like I said in the beginning, don't feel like a failure. That just means that you have some work to do. Pinch and release. We have five seconds left. You can do it. On this last one, we're gonna hold it. So I want you to lift up and I want you to hold it. I want you to pinch your shoulder blades together. Feel the burn down your shoulders in the back and release. Roll your shoulders back. Great work. Next, hip extensions. So place your dumbbells forward. Grab onto your chair. Chest up. And what you're going to do is you're going to straighten out your left leg and go straight back, squeezing your left hip, and then tap your foot down next to your right foot. 
So kick it straight back, squeeze, and release. Y'all ready? Let's go. Now, I want you to focus on your booty. So keep your chest up, keep your eyes up. It's time to activate the bum. Squeeze it and release it. Make it harder. Don't tap your foot when you place your foot next to your other foot. So just go straight back and straight in, a little bit faster. Squeeze in here. There we go, the booty. Okay. If you feel like you can't squeeze it, as you do this more, you'll be able to feel it more. Come on, you can do it. We have three more. Three, two, one more. Back and hold it. Hold it back there. Now pulse it back. Squeeze it. Three, two, hold it, and relax. Good set. Now we're gonna focus on the right side. Okay, so pull your stomach in, chest up. Now we're gonna kick the right leg back. Three, two, and let's go. Kick it back and release. Now focusing right here. All the way back, all the way in. Let's say if you feel like you got your balance, you don't need the chair. Place your hands on your hips. Okay, now you're focusing on balancing on the left leg as you extend the right hip. Breathe. Come on, we have about six seconds left. Give me everything you've got and then we'll pulse it. Have a good time. Blasting that thigh a little bit more, that hip. For two, one more. Back and hold it. Let's pulse it. Come on, you can do it. Five, four, all the way back. Three, two, hold it. And release. Good set. Next, we have a pick fly. So we're going to focus on squeezing our chest muscles. Get a set of dumbbells. Let's get it. Let's get it on. Okay, chest up. Remember, good posture. Every time you sit down, I want your chest up, hips back, stomach tucked in. Arms up at 90. I want you to come in, squeeze your chest, and then release, keeping your elbows up high. Okay, let's go into a momentary muscle fatigue, personal best. Let's go. Squeeze and release. So squeeze. When are you exhaling, Carl? You exhale when you bring your arms together. Pinch it, and then inhale when you release. Got it? Let's go, we have about 15 seconds left. Too easy, go slower. Hey, if it's still too easy, then I want you to just hold it right here. And then it will really make it more challenging where you'll feel the burn on your pec muscles. Let's go, now fast, in and out fast with three. You got it, two, one more. And excellent, drop your hands down. Next, we're gonna go into a squat. I want your feet close together and you're gonna stand up and then tap the chair. It's gonna look like this. Feet close together, you're gonna to stand up, and then you're going to press about 80% on your heels as you sit down, and then stand up. Let's say if it's too hard, and place the dumbbells to the side. You ready? Let's go. Inhale down, exhale up, let's go. Now notice I'm lifting my arms up so I can work on my balance. It'll make it easier if you move your arms up when you sit down, and then arms to your side when you stand. Arms up, sit. Arms to your side, stand. Where are you focusing? Your legs. Squeezing your booty. Got all that? Breathe. Remember, you can hit pause whenever you need. If it's getting too challenging, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm done. Hit pause, get a sip of water, recover, and then hit play and do it. And we have two, one more. And perfect, good work. So your RPE should be up to six or seven. So this is a good time to get a sip of water if you didn't hit pause. So get a quick sip real quick, and then we're gonna go straight into the next exercise. Next we have open hand bicep curls. So I want you to take a seat. Arms, hands open, chest up. Pull the hands into your shoulders and release. Ready? Let's go. Focus. Where? Biceps. So you inhale, go down. Exhale, go up. Remember, as you're doing this workout program, it's not what you do over the next week, or two weeks, or six weeks. It's what you do over the next five to 10 years. Remember, you gotta make this part of your lifestyle. You have to make this a priority in order to get the results you're looking for. We have about five seconds left. I always like to throw in a little tip every once in a while, kind of motivate you. We got three, two more. Come on, you can do it. Two. Up and hold, let's pulse it up for five, four, come on, you can do it, three, two, voila, good work. Next tricep kickbacks, so I want you to stand up, kick that chair back, get it out your way. Your chest is up, your hips are back, your elbows are up above your back, and you're gonna press it back until your arms are straight, and then bend at the elbow. Got it? Let's go. Kick it back, and bend at the elbow. Blow out, back, 
Inhale in. Where should you feel this? The back of your arms, okay? How are you breathing? Exhale back, inhale in. Come on. Breathe. Here we go, we have about 10 seconds left. Take it back, you should start feeling the burn in the back of your arms. If you don't, I just want you to hold it. Come on, we have five seconds, I'm, I feel it. So I'm gonna continue going for three, two more. Two, last one, hold it, and release. Good, drop your dumbbells down. Next, we're gonna do chair crunches. So take, take your seat, chest up, hands behind head, pull your stomach in, and then you're going to crunch. Bring the elbows down into your hips, bring your chest into your rib cage, and then release. Chest up, hips back, stretching your stomach out. You ready? Let's squeeze the abdominal muscles. Let's go. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. You might think, oh, that looks silly. Do it for 30 seconds, you'll feel it. Squeeze and release. The closer your legs are together, the more you'll feel it. So if your legs are all out like this, you're not gonna feel it as much. Bring those knees together. Act like you have a rope tied around them. Squeeze. Come on, we have five seconds left. Let's get three more in for three, two, one more. And perfect, good work. Stand up. You should feel the burn down your stomach on that exercise. Next, we do back extensions. Back extension is really important to strengthen the back. We sit down all day, or most of us slumped over. So let's strengthen the back of your shoulders and your back. Placing your hands on your hips, chest up, hips back. Let's bend at the waist as much as you can, feeling the pull in the back of your legs. And then stand up. Let's go. Inhale down. Exhale up. What if you could only go down this far? That's fine. Go down as far as you can. Okay. If your back starts to curve as you go down, that's when I want you to stop and lift up. So keep the back straight. We got 15 seconds left. Come on. You can do it. Try to get deeper each rep. Oh, doesn't that feel good down the back of your legs? Oh, yeah. Come on. We have three, two more. We only have two more exercises after this. Stay with me. One more. And perfect. Good. Next, we're going to balance on one leg. Let's work on our balance. So, I'm going to start with the right leg. Okay, so I want you to lift your left leg up. I want you to press on all four corners of your right foot. And let's go. Take your hand off the chair. The chair is just there if you need. Okay, I want you to keep your right leg contracted the entire time as you suck your stomach in, your chest is up, you're smiling, you're happy. Remember, this is a journey worth taking. And just hold this. We have 15 seconds. See if you're wobbly, hold on to the chair, okay? The chair's there if you need. Come on, if it's too easy, bend your leg. We have about 10 seconds left. Oh yeah, come on, get deeper if you can. We have five, four, three, two, and perfect. Shake that right leg out. Now it's the left leg's turn. So let's bring the chair to the other side. Okay, now lift your right leg up, focus on the left leg in three, two, and take your hand off the chair. Okay, as we get older, we need to make sure we work on our balance. We don't wanna fall. And as you get stronger, your balance is gonna get better. Keep your chest up, stomach tucked in. Let's bend the leg if you feel like it's too easy. Have about 10 seconds left. Remember, if you're not feeling the burn, then I need you to go to the next level. And I'll show you that next level, trust me. And if it's still too easy, then it's time for a new program. For three, two, and perfect, good work. Next, we have seated calf raises. Hey, this is the last exercise. I'm gonna grab onto some dumbbells to make it a little bit more challenging. I want you to place your dumbbells on top of your thighs, chest up, stomach tucked in, and all you're doing is you're lifting your heels up as high as you can. Squeeze in the back of your legs and then release. You ready? Let's go. All the way up and release. All the way up and release. I want you to go a little bit faster. So as soon as you tap your heels, lift up. Come on, let's go. 25 seconds. As fast as you can. Let's work it. Good. Where are you focusing? Your calf muscles. Not your neck. Come on. All the way up, all the way down. What are you having for dinner tonight? Is something healthy? It better be. All the way up, all the way down. Come on, we have five seconds left. Four, three, two, all the way up and hold it. Now pulse it up. This is it. Come on, 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six. Come on, you can do it. Five, I think I said five seconds. Four, three, two, up and hold. And then slowly release. And good. Great work today. That's what you call a full body workout using the chair. 
Make sure you stay consistent. Remember, it's not what you do over the next week, two weeks, three weeks. It's what you do over the next five to 10 years. I'm gonna continue telling you that because it's very important. Until next time, reach your personal best.